Hey everybody, Brightbull here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Duke Nukem 3D Alien, Alien Armageddon. Yes, I know this mod came out back in 2018, and I actually was aware of it since then. I uh, just never really got around to doing a Let's Play of it. Well, I'm doing it now, and it's going to be great because this is a great mod. Definitely. There's a lot to it. Um... Well, enough talk, let me get started, and of course I'm going to do the new episodes. I'm going to play it on Let's Rock. I would do Come Get Some, or Damn I'm Good, but... This mod is... makes the game hard, it makes a challenging game. So anyway, I'm going to do New Invasion. There's a third character that they added in. As you probably know, if you're familiar with this mod, which you probably are, uh, you get... you... This mod, in this mod, you play as uh, Duke. You can play as Bombshell, and you can you can swap between them. You play, you can have them both in the same mission and swap between them. You know, you play as Duke and have uh, Bombshell follow you, or play as Bombshell and have Duke follow you. Uh, but there's they added this new character called Wes Wolf, and I don't know who the hell. <laughs> I don't know who he is. I didn't even know he was a character in the, in the Duke Nukem series, but. Whatever, so you can play as Duke and West or Bombshell and West, or just Duke and Bombshell as you usually would. But I'm gonna replace Bombshell because honestly, Bombshell is a character I couldn't care less about. So I'm gonna skip the whole intro. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> He's like, holy shit! You're that impatient? So yes, this is the prelude of the of this. Campaign. Hold on, I've got to turn the music on. There we go. Where are you shooting at? Yes, even though this is an advanced mod, uh, it's compatible with the software render, and I'm actually using that render right now because there are actually some uh, issues I noticed with the with the 32-bit render. Yeah, Pollen Most. The problem is Pollen Most. I know Polymer is not, doesn't work at all with this mod. Uh, but Pollen Most has some issues too, so I'm gonna stick with the, with the classic render. Besides, I like the classic vibes. So this guy, this guy Wes has a sword. Yes, as you figured, it, it does function pretty much like the sword in Shadow Warrior. Yeah, and Wes has his own, has his own one-liners, which are Pretty lousy and entertaining. Play as West through this whole level. And the next level, we get to finally play as Duke. I'm gonna have the rocket launcher. We'll open that weak point down the wall. Slide in here. And it's a vent. And yes, everything in this mod looks more like the way it did in Duke Nukem Forever. The enemies, the characters, everything. Not the 2001 Duke, Duke Forever, the 2011 one. The one that everybody hated. Uh, yes, even though everybody hated the game, the graphics were pretty good. And the designs were pretty good. And yes, as you can see, we can use the alien blaster pistol. Which is awesome. Every computer screen or TV screen, whatever, is brand named Phony. I don't know. I don't know if that's a reference to anything, but whatever. It's funny. It could be just a witticism. Darn it! Okay, I'm gonna use the dual pistols, revolvers. Yeah. Uh, these guys. The projectiles travel faster. Okay, that's a big top tank. All the vehicles in this game are voxels, which is awesome, of course. They don't have a 3D look. Yes, and there's a little upgrade menu. You can access it by access the menu by pushing the backspace key and you can get upgrades. So I'm gonna probably upgrade for the blaster pistol. Which makes it 
which gives, gives it a more radioactive uh, punch. As you can see. I'm gonna get killed here any minute. I need health. I'm trying using this. Yes, West does have some pretty dramatic pain sounds. Let me go up here because I'm almost dead. You want to let me um, let me save the no. I want messages on. I want to save the game. Okay. Okay, I have no more missiles. So I'm just running away. I'm running away like a chicken. Yes, like in Duke Forever, you can eat snacks and drink sodas to regain health. Yes, the cola, that's a classic. These bombs, these are at freeze bombs. And yes, tough enemies, they'll slow them down and won't, it won't freeze them, though. If you hit them with enough of those freeze grenades, you can probably freeze them solid. But even so, I don't think they—I don't think they stay solid for long. This is the armory we were, we were in a few minutes ago. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just leave that big cop tank out there. It's not necessary for me to destroy it. I'm not going for 100% kills. And look, it's that leg lamp from that Christmas movie. Maybe you can break the lamp. Let me see. No, you can't. Oh, yeah. You can make sure the big cops are dead because they, you might think they're dead, but once you turn your back, they'll shoot you. What is that? Skip egg. That's funny. What? Oh, that's Hulk Hogan. Younger, it looks like. Oh, you can push the. Yeah, it's another thing with this with this ball. In this ball, you can pick up objects and throw them or drop them. Oh, I see you hit skip and what? What's that? I don't want to see that. Hit skip add or you push the remote. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I guess it just it changes by itself. All right. So actually, it's the army of me, baby. Now, I don't really know what he said there. I think he said just an army of me, baby. I think that's what it was. He said, oh, whatever. Uh, you. He's gonna just cut this. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Just decapitated that trooper. Oh yeah, that this switch opens that door, which is in the room, the room we were just in, the starting room. It's really fun to pick things up. Let's go under here. Uh, poor guy. Uh, yeah, even in the in the auto map, you can still it still shows you Duke Nukem from the aerial view. Okay, we need this elevator to go back down to the starting room. And now that I have a blue key card, we can enter the men's bathroom. Uh, I don't know why you need a key card to enter a bathroom, but after all, this is the EDF base, so. What? He's pink. Oh, that's it. You're gonna get shut cut just for that. What? Oh. Okay, you're gonna get cut. That's what you get for ping on the floor. Yes. And you can pee in the toilet and regain health that way with Wes. I think you can do that with even Bombshell. All the characters can do that, I think. Not gonna 
go in there, there's a naked dude in there. I'll stay out of, stay out of there. Yes, if you, if, when you have the sword equipped, and you push the um, E key, or the interact key, you can block with a sword. I don't know if you can block shotgun shells, let me see that. I'm gonna do that. Come on, shoot me, pig, come on. Nope. Can't block shotgun blasts. Can't do that. There's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of pop culture and movie... Also video game references in this, uh, mod. A lot of that. As you can see here, this is what? Pont Pontius the Barbarian. I don't know what the... Obviously a reference to, um... Conan the Barbarian, but... Don't know who Pontius is. Yeah, he's, this guy's kind of funny. Alright, now... Let's go through here. Okay, I'm not going to go there yet. I'm going to go to Oh! These are not quite... They're not land... Oh, yeah. It says it right there on, on the uh, messages when you pick them up. These are a spider mine, so if you plant them, they'll follow any enemy that's in the vicinity. Okay, now... You just switch to open that door. Oh! Oh, no, no. Not sneaking up on me. It was not the brain. Now, shotgun to death. Yeah, there's two of them. Okay, the barracks. Or barracks, how you want to pronounce it. Great room. Yes, and the aliens um, talk in this mine, in their own language. What is this? What's going on in this team? <laughs> oh, it's a Duke Burn commercial. That's smart. And check this out. It's an XXX box. Now, if that's not clever, I don't know what is. Yes, you can use the machines to get sodas and snacks. Like in Duke Nukem Time to Kill. You know, I still hope they port that game to the PC. Duke Nukem Time to Kill. Time to Kill. I don't care what anybody says about the game. It might, it, yes, maybe it had clunky controls, kind of, but it was a good game and it was fun. And I know they port it to the, uh, what's that coming? Console, the Everlast, the Eververse, I don't know what it's called. I forgot, I forgot what it's called, but they ported it to that. I think, it, it, you know, and that console's not even popular. Might as well just port it to the PC. Trooper, don't hear it yet. West also has a crossbow. Oh, I have. I see you over there. I see you over there. Can you eat the bananas? No, you can't. You can't eat the bananas. Can't go over here either.
Yeah, you'll see these laptops scattered around, but they don't do anything. Uh, yeah, a lot of the things in this in this game look 3D, but they're not really 3D, they're voxels, you know? They're like 2D sprites made into voxels, I don't know how that works exactly. But this, this is a voxel here. This is, a, this is an example of a voxel. This too. Here's the gym, of course. What's a Duke Nukem game without a gym? Just kidding. Duke 3D had no gyms. The, the base game. And that was... And the base game, of course, is awesome. As everybody knows. Yeah, there, there is a lot of... There is some references in this game to that, that movie, They Live. You know, where the guy puts the glasses on and he sees all the... Uh, the real meaning behind all the propaganda and stuff. So if you use the night vision goggles in this game, you can see which puzzles, the, the, the button combinations, the access switches, and look at some images that are different. As you see a portrait of the original Duke Nukem. What? Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> So that's Wes's AFK animation. If you don't do anything, instead of saying, come on, or something like that, he just pulls out a uh, Nintendo Switch portable console and starts playing. I think that's a Nintendo Switch. I think it is. <clears throat> okay. Like that. There you go. Try it. Still not going any arrows with this crossbow yet. Let's see if I have the shotgun. Yep. Oh! What the? Okay, you want to get cut then. This switch will open that door, and the pig cops will get angry, but who cares? I'm gonna, I'm gonna freeze them. So I wanna show you the, the freeze uh, bombs. Whoa, well, yeah, you gotta watch it. You're not freezing yourself. Okay, let's go down here for a, a little, and Oh, it's, oh, yeah, it's great. There's something. This is the shooting gallery. And behind the counter there, we have a pig cop, but he shouldn't be there, so I'm gonna take him out. Yes, we got an Uzi, and yes, you could do you could do dual wheeled Uzis. Get up here. Nothing. This I like. This poster here. It's. Uncle Sam, but it's not. It's actually Duke Nukem. And he says, I want you to be a badass. Alright, I'll try my best. <laughs> this is the actual shooting range right here. You gotta shoot that switch to do something. I don't know what it does exactly. You go back here, though. You can jump back here and you can get whatever those were. Now, this is the area we need to go to, and there's a battle lore, and we have to fight here. Yeah. Here heal. Save the game before I get killed. Um, and y yeah, you can actually shoot... You can actually shoot ob objects, like barrels and stuff like that, to get uh, coins out of them. If I, if I did not explain it earlier, you use the coins in the... in this shop here in the vendor to buy weapons and upgrades. Okay, I think I have a Devastator. No? So, oh no, I do it, I do it, I do it. Yep, there it is. Western's version of the Devastator, which is... basically an explosive... double shotgun. Holy... Uh, yep. See, that's why you get a quick save. 
Cause it's challenging. This is, and this is on Let's Rock. It's not the, not even the hardest difficulty. I'll open those barrels later. Yeah, there's Battle Lord. And you know what? I do have a rocket. Starting like that. Okay. Um, oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm not gonna mind the enemies up there because they can't really get me. Oh, I'm just gonna hide again. Here he won't find me. Wait, here we go. He ain't gonna find me here. Oh, look! Yeah, he like that. The targets shoot back at you. Put this down. It'll it's not following them. Okay, well, not okay. Okay, I'll use the Uzi. Or the Uzi. Oh, that's cool. These targets must be made of adamantium or something. Battle Lord is full, let's not go through that. Oh. Darn it. Okay, that's good. Oh! Oh, great! Back there's an enforcer. Ah, finally. EDF drones. Okay, I need my devastator back out so I can take out the battle war. And oh, they did it for me. The pick cop, hey? The EDF drones took out the battle war for me. That's great. Compensated for my uh, my lack of skill. Shouldn't have tried defect deflecting the battle or shots with the sword. I'm going to ignore all the enemies up there because they're really worthless. And I'm not going to run it 400% kills. It's just a let's play. Besides, they're not hurting me. Why shoot him? And this is the end of the prelude, as I call it. And what's going on here? There we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And that was it. That was EDF base. But, and that was the preload uh, pre level of the new, the first new episode. This is now me, baby. And now this is the first, what I would call, first actual level of the episode where you play as Duke Nukem. Since that preload was kind of long, I'm gonna call it quits now and I'll continue this in the next video. Thanks for watching.